the chronology of what happens. She's uh, she's pretty. She gets lots of attention from uh, men all over, wherever she goes. All the doors are open to her. All the lights are green. And uh, so she hooks up uh, with the uh, uh, the best looking guy she can find. They yeah, go out together for a while and uh, she uh, plays the field and goes with uh, more than one guy. And uh, in most cases she dates uh, multiple guys uh, at the same time. And then she settles on one and uh, tricks one into marrying her. And, uh, they stay together uh, for a little while, but she's still young and good looking, and uh, she may even have a couple of kids from him, uh, but uh, she gets attention from other men, she continues to get attention because she's still in her 20s, and uh, well, uh, after a while she says, yeah, well, my husband is uh, kind of nice and everything, but uh, his friends are making more money and they're better looking, so she goes and uh, divorces him and says, I'm not happy, and, you know, gives him the usual, I'm not happy and we should see other people and stuff. And uh, they divorce and uh, she takes the house, if he has one, and uh, enough money for the kids until they're 18. And uh, spousal support. And she goes out into the open market, puts herself on 25 different dating sites and goes out and gets drunk and acts like she's still 19. But now she's in her mid 20s. Uh, to late 20s and she's got a couple of uh, puppies, she's got a couple of kids in tow. And uh, as she's going out, she starts to notice she's not exactly getting as much attention as the uh, as when she was uh, 19 in the early 20s. Now there are younger ones uh, there who not only are prettier and thinner and look younger, but also they don't have kids. So, um, but uh, you know how women are. She is uh, in, in, in an ocean of, uh, of uh, delusion. She still thinks that she, uh, she uh, she's 19. She acts she's uh, like she's 19, and she she behaves like she's uh, you know 19, and, and uh, uh, you know on top of the list of the desirability. When in fact she's not. She's got too much competition now, and she's got kids, and she's got an ex in the picture. So uh, slowly as time goes by, she hits uh, her 30s and everything, and she realizes that uh, no, uh, apparently uh, uh, she's not as hot as desirable as uh, others, and competition is too stiff, and then there's the social media with 5 million other younger women uh, competing with her. Uh, so she starts to settle into the, the single life, into the single mother uh, situation. Not a lot of uh, people want that. Uh, so she goes out still, she just, if she still looks good, she can still get men uh, that go out with her. But uh, meanwhile, they want to stay uh, the night with her. They don't want to exactly wife her up. And hence, you've got this plethora of single mothers on 25 different waiting sites continually uh, marketing themselves out there and hoping to get a man with a list as long as your arm of other requirements they have, which no living human being, uh, male human being can match, can, can, can fulfill. So they uh, remain single and frustrated and miserable and uh, angry and say, where have all the good men gone? And there you have it. And that's why you got all these single mothers on these dating sites uh, for decades at a time, uh, hoping for a miracle and not finding one and ending up with their pets and the bottle.